What's going on, everybody? It's Zach the Jedi Otaku. We're going to do another episode of Ruby. Uh, this time it's Volume 3, Chapter 3, with no Andy today. And I have a confession. It's been a number of months since the last time I put something out, and that is because I did this episode already. I did this chapter with Andy, and it wasn't recorded at all. So this is going to be a rewatch and a uh, a re a rewatch reaction and a bit of a review cap for me. Um, but it's been a number of months since I've seen this episode, so it's not fresh. It's not like I remember anything. The last thing I truly remember about it was um, John's team fighting in the uh, tournament. So without that, let's just get into it. Play. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if we figured found out what the final what the end game was oh that's what this episode crow meeting with wise's sister we see crow today that's what we're gonna get in this episode crow and wise's sister okay i remember crow being a drunk idiot wise's sister being a hoodie toady they definitely used to be a thing way back when Ice, yes Winter. Winter. That's what it is. Your sister? Winter! Winter! I'm so happy to see you! Oh, your presence honors us. <laughs> Beacon. It's been a long time. The air feels different. I mean, it is fall, so yeah, it's probably colder. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Classified. Oh, right. Well, how long are you staying? Classified. Of course. <laughs> well, this is nice. <laughs> I think. You're going to love it here! I know you travel a lot, but so much of Beacon is different from Atlas. Vale, too. The government and school are completely separate. Can you believe it? I I'm more than familiar with how this kingdom handles its bureaucracy. <laughs> that is not why I came. Right. I'm sorry. Nor did I come here to watch my own blood fail so miserably in battle. What? But it appears I have no choice in the matter. But we won! Only a novice would refer to that as a victory. What? I counted at least three strikes missed. Oh, that's right. She's very particular, but still caring. How have you been? Oh, splendid. Thank you for asking. I'm actually in the very top ranking of our sparring class. The rest of my studies are going wonderfully, too. I'm... Silence, you boob. I don't recall asking about your ranking. I asked how you've been. Are you eating properly? Have you taken up any hobbies? <laughs> are you making new friends? Well, Mother there's Ruby. Like... <laughs> <Boo. laughs> so this is the leader you wrote of. How appropriately underwhelming. <laughs> uh, thank you. Greetings, Ruby Rose. I wish to thank you for taking an interest in my sister. Oh, uh, She's very yes, stern, but also, like, supportive. Like... So difficult. I have business with the general and your headmaster. But seeing as I'm early, why don't you take me to your quarters? Really? Yes. I wish to inspect them and make sure they are up to my personal standards. Of course. Just so you're aware, the bunk beds only look unstable. <laughs> bunk beds? <laughs> I mean, I will reconvene with you both. <laughs> juncture! <laughs> At a juncture, yeah. <sighs> She's so proper in her speech and etiquette. She's still a big sister, though. She still cares. I love that. Hey. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Ice Queen. <laughs> Another Ice Queen. Halt! Excuse me? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Shh, 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 shh. Not you. Hey! <laughs> no, no, no. You. Bro. 
<laughs> so the gaudy show oh, I like the double down. axes there. Guess you're here too. I'm standing right before you. So it would seem. You realize you just destroyed Atlas military property. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. See, I mistook this for some sort of sentient garbage. I don't have time for your immature games, Crow. Wait, you two know each other? Jeez, you Atlas specialists think you're so special, don't you? It's an in Atlas the title. specialist? Well, you know what you really are? A bunch of sellouts. Just like your boss. I'm not sure what you think you're implying, but I've heard enough. Oh, I heard too. I heard Bro doesn't Iron like finally Iron turned his back on Ozpin. Ozpin? Weiss, it's time for you to go. What? Listen to Big Sister, Weiss. She'll protect you. Just like Atlas is gonna protect all of us, huh? If you won't hold your tongue, then I will gladly remove it for you. All right, then. Come take it. Uh, he's they're both turned on right now. This fighting is foreplay for them. Crazy guy just started attacking my sister. Oh no! I would do such a thing. It's my uncle. What? Take her fight, Uncle Crow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> huh? Emerald coming in. Holy shit! Come on, Winter. Bring it, baby. Daddy Crow's got some stuff for you to work on. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, she's loving it too. I bet you she used to be really, um, what is it? A, a troublemaker. She used to be really heavy troublemaker when she was a teenager, like the complete opposite of Wise is right now. Um, probably closer to Yang's personality in that regard. And something happened where she just became so stern. Probably breaking up with Crow. She probably used to be a lot different when she was together with Crow. Ooh, two swords. Do they both have two swords? No. Glyphs are those. Oh, now she's getting into serious? What? Oh, they're both getting serious. Okay. Is that gonna turn into a whip like Renji's? Nope. He wins now. Ha! Ah, you saw Ironwood and knew that was gonna happen. What in the world do you think you're doing? Penny! That's actually not true. She attacked first. Is that right? <laughs> Oh, Crow. He's not like a big uncle. He's more like the, what the crazy uncle. Here? I could be asking you the same thing. I, now, now, everyone. There is a sanction fight happening just around the corner at the Coliseum that I can assure you has better seats. Crossblock. And Axe is there, too. Break it up, everyone. 
We will take care of this mess. Let's go. <laughs> He's strong. He's just one arm lifting. No. no. A word, please. I think I'm in trouble. You did kind of tear up our courtyard. Yeah, I did. Catch you later, kid. And suddenly, your recklessness makes sense. You just oh, to see what, but that was uh. a draw at best. <laughs> Rivalry through family. What were you thinking? If you were one of my men, I would have you shot. If I was one of your men, I'd shoot myself. Well, I wouldn't condone his behavior. Retaliating like you did certainly didn't help the situation. He was drunk. He's always drunk. <laughs> Why are you here? You've been out of contact for weeks. You can't just go dark like that in the field. I'm not one of your special operatives, Jimmy. General. Whatever. You sent me to get intel on our enemy, and I'm telling you, our enemy is here. We know. Oh. Oh, you know. Well, thank goodness I'm out there risking my life to keep you all informed. Crow. Communication's a two-way street, pal. You see this? That's the send button. They had reason to assume you'd been compromised. And I have reason to assume you don't need to be here. Seriously, who invited her? Hmm. Schnee will discuss this incident back on my ship. But sir... I want to know what the dynamics were. Like, what was their past? Who's on whose team? Yes, sir. It was Ironwood, Ospin, and Glenda all on one team. And then these two were then both trained by by the respectives um by ospin trained crow ironwood trained winter go on your little infiltrator or were they all or were those four together and then the winter came in and then crow being the youngest grabs them despite what the world thinks we're not just teachers or generals or headmasters the people in this room the leaders of the other two academies we're the ones that keep the world safe from the evils no one even knows about. It's why we meet behind closed doors, why we work in the shadows. So you tell me, James, when you brought your army to Vale, did you think you were being discreet, or did you just not give a damn? Discreet wasn't working. I'm here because this is what was necessary. You're here because Ospin wanted you here. He made you a part of this inner circle and opened your eyes to the real fight that's in front of us. And I am grateful. Oh, well, you've got a real funny way of showing it. The people of Vale needed someone to protect them, someone who would act. When they look to the sky and see my fleet, they feel safe, and our enemies will feel our strength. <laughs> you, you think they're scared of your little ships? I've been out there and I've seen the things she's made, and let me tell you. She, the queen. Fear. And fear will bring the grim. A guardian is a symbol of comfort, but an army is a symbol of conflict. There's an energy in the air now, a question in the back of everyone's minds. If this is the size of I'm loving the, the dynamics. What is it we're expecting to fight? He's got told Ironwood. So then, Zag, what would you suggest we do? There's a chess piece I on there. I suggest we find our guardian. And you're sure? Bad hair, used a scythe, and smelled like my dad after a long day. It was him. What do we do? Guardian. Nothing. Who is the guardian? We stay the course. They have no idea who we are. So we have no reason to worry. Besides, the last of the heavy lifting is being taken care of, thanks to our clever little friend. 
Uh, speaking of which, it appears we have a new access point. Anywhere good? You could They tapped into his Go to your rooms. I'll prepare everything for tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Got it. Let's give the crowd a good fight. The randomization process is complete. Ladies and gentlemen, your double tournament lineup. Goes through Austin's table. That's good. That's good. All right. So we met Crow. We finally got to see Crow. One of the things I loved about this episode. Um, was that it immediately told us everything we needed to know about Crow, gave us questions about him, and showed what his relationship with all the other major players are at this point. You can definitely tell he's the crazy uncle, but he also has deep psychological scars that we can tell why he drinks, why he's so um, emotional all the time. He, he's, he's, he lives by his emotions. Um, However, that is not to say that he's not smart because he definitely is smart and he can see things. He actually sees things through other people's points of view. That's what makes him so different between Atlas or uh, between the Atlas people. So Ironwood and uh, Winter. Ironwood and Winter are so logical um, that they don't consider the soft things, the emotional aspects to what they're doing. Um, so. It allowed, it, Crow is very smart in that way. He knows how to manipulate people's emotional intelligence in that regard. Um, you know, getting Winter all, you know, hot and heavy and, and, and angry and, and upset. And Ironwood, too. He got under both of their skins, lickety split like that. Um, I love that. Very, very interesting. I love that his sword kind of looked like it was going to be Renji's from Bleach, like it was going to be a whip it was about to be, and he put it back. I liked how he did that. He He's he's a planner. He plans out things. He he may seem like he's he's the drunken master. He's a drunken master of this series where he's may seem like he's drunk or he's incoherent, but he's actually observing, watching, listening, planning out everything, and positioning himself to make his points at every moment, which I find very very appealing. I like that a lot. Um, I love that he called Winter the Ice Queen instead of Wise. So both of the Schneens have been called uh, the Ice Queens. But it also got me interested. What is an Atlas Specialist? Is that a particular type of uh, military command post? Like Atlas is um, military. They have the, the you know, foot soldiers, they have the um, paladins, and then the automatons, Penny, like where, what is a specialist? I don't know. Uh, I love how <laughs> you can tell there's such a deep relationship with Winter and Crow. Um, I'm pretty sure that Crow is the older of the two and that Crow is with the um, groups and that when Winter came in, she was a young, naive, and Crow might have taken her in under her wing a little bit and made her a little bit crazy a little bit you know fly off uh the rails to, to a degree and been, been a little bit wild with him um and then they broke up and then she became very stern and, and sided with ironwood and, and all of that kind of stuff very interesting i like this all of the dynamics of the groups are very interesting to me and, and how the um relationships amongst them and who, who's who been with who, what's the relationship now. Um, I love that aspect of it. Um, who is the guardian? What is the guardian? You know, there's the comparison of a guardian is comfort versus a show of force is frightening. So I, I like that question. Who's going to be our guardian uh, coming forward? I like that. Last thing I want to mention is um, Cinder's team and the Black Queen. There was a mention of that her. You haven't seen what she's made. Um, and there was a quick glimpse, very quick glimpse of when uh, Ironwood picked up his 
his uh, scroll off of the table that you could see there was a, a flickering queen uh, chess piece, which indicated to us that Cinder now has access to uh, Ironwood's, uh, whatever that device is called, the scroll, Ironwood scroll. The question is, how did they access that? Was that through Ospin's table with a hologram or was that remotely and now they have access to it? Does that mean if it was done on Ospin's table, is Ospin actually part of the Black Queen or has been infiltrated without knowing? Or is it just because uh, Cinder infiltrated that the big tower, the communications tower, and now um, doing whatever she did when she, she, that was her first access point has then infected other things through that. That's how it got through Ospin's table. We don't know. I can assume that at this point. Going forward, uh, next chapter, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see the next uh, round of the tournament. So that's very exciting. Um, but other than that, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know, let me get, la, 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 la. but other than that, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys thought of my reaction and my review. And as always, Zach, out.